today with at Dan versus the kitchen, I am making noise. Um, curried zucchini and keto chicken tenders. Now, this is a recipe that you can cook along. We posted it yesterday. So if anyone is cooking along, there is a step you will need to do that I've already done. So the tenders have a sesame chicken crumb. You might also notice this is not our regular kitchen. We're in Port Macquarie today. So I didn't um, want to make the crumb up here and bring our like stick blender and everything. So what you need to do if you're cooking along is put half a cup of sesame seeds, one teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of garlic powder into like a Nutribullet stick blender um, or your blender or your Thermomix and make the crumb. So um, it will look, one, this is more than one serve. Yeah, we just made whatever we had with the sesame seeds. So um, make your crumb while I get everything else ready to go. I'm going to start with the curried zucchini and then we'll do the chicken tenders second. Hi, Alani. So curried zucchini. First off, we need two zucchinis finely diced. Now, I will get Erica to move the screen down if you feel like you need to watch me do this because <laughs> I'm definitely not very smart at the chopping and whatnot, but it says finely diced, so I'll do my best. I'm not going to get it. Paper or something on it. God, she's bossing me around no, no, already. No, no, it's just a bit of paper or something. Let us know in the comments if you're watching live and cooking along because I'm really keen to see if people are interested in doing like a cook-along style or much prefer just watching me make a meal <laughs> of making a meal. <laughs> cook-along style is the best of both worlds. We can watch you make it yes. and make it ourselves. I was... Eat. I will admit I was a little bit worried about kind of not being in our kitchen because, you know, like this knife is actually cutting way better yeah. than I thought it was going to because sometimes the knives are like just blunt as. And we've spent the last 15 minutes looking for the chopping board. which We, we found it. <laughs> we found <laughs> it. <laughs> so if you're cooking along, chop up your zucchini. Get that ready to go. I'll just keep chopping away here. And we're hoping that this kind of setup works maybe a little bit better than what we've got at home. Is anyone cooking along? Or you can't really see when I'm I got it down see like you that. when you're down yeah. like that. Right, we've got Mon, Chris, Jennifer. <laughs> Mon said watching's best. <laughs> Watching's better than doing. <laughs> well, if you're not cooking along, you definitely should make these two recipes together. Chicken tenders and curried zucchini is one as a clean and simple reset, which will recipe that we will go into a little bit later on. But it's also an absolutely delicious combination because the curried zucchini acts like a bit of a sauce. Do you agree with that? Yes, I would agree. Okay. So two zucchinis chopped. You've only done one. I've only done one. <laughs> Can you count? <laughs> well, I cut two halves. <laughs> so I thought I was done. Hopefully I do a little bit better than I did last week. No, no one's cooking. They're just watching you. Oh, great. Chris said she'd prefer you do it, Dan. Then if you stuff it up, then I can learn from your mistakes. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> What's everyone else got on their dinner menu tonight? Good old Monday night. The other thing that I love about this zucchini recipe is it's a really delicious way to eat zucchini because zucchini by itself can be pretty boring um, and this is just packed full of flavour. The good thing with zucchini is it really takes on, like it doesn't have its own really strong flavour, so it will take on flavours really well, won't it? Yes.
Oh, Justin, you're already eating dinner. <laughs> what have you got for dinner, Justin? Hope you're still wearing your new T-shirt. You have but a will travel T-shirt. This is definitely like the latest we would eat dinner, right? <laughs> we would normally eat before six just because we're old grandmas and we, we oh my god we now know how old we are we proved that point on the weekend because we went to my nephew's 18th birthday party as the supervising adults a i 100 percent underestimated the vomiting. amount of vomit that would be involved <laughs> so <laughs> they, much vomiting at one point dan said all of these songs sound the same <laughs> And we yeah. went, okay, we are officially old. Okay, so the next step is in a medium saucepan, mm. add the cream, the salt and pepper, the bone broth powder and the curry powder. So we will put that in the pan now. We're not I will using give cream. all the measurements. We're not using cream. Can so if maybe bring the pan over here. That might okay. Be Because we're making this clean and simple, we are going to use coconut milk instead of cream. You can use either. They both work perfectly. Yeah. Um, we've interchanged them and it's worked no problem. Okay, so we're going to put half a cup of cream or coconut milk or coconut cream, any of that works well. The benefit of the coconut milk is it's much more liquid, so... The coconut milk probably works the best. Half a cup. One teaspoon of bone broth powder. So we're using this broth powder, but you could use stock powder or whatever works for you. That's the Nutra Organics one. I think we got it from Low Carb Emporium. If you use like a, like a stock powder i'd probably just use a bit less salt because they're a bit saltier not much left in these packets so this is yeah no trouble. there's not much left in there i need to get some more oh look how sparkly it's, it's like gold i don't know if you can see you can't really see the bone frost powder's all sparkly. We're also trying a new curry powder today. We haven't tried this before. We got it from our lo local Asian supermarket. Um, any curry powder you have will work. What's it called? And what's the ingredient? Um, it's called Bubba Meat <laughs> Curry Powder. And the ingredients are, let me go to the English, coriander, chili, cumin, fennel, Turmeric, white pepper, cinnamon, black pepper, cardamom, star anise, nutmeg, bay leaf, and clove. So clean as. Now, don't watch this. <laughs> oh my this. God. And I've curry powder everywhere. <clears throat> so, curry powder, one teaspoon. Oh, it's very turmeric y. Oh, look at the color of it. It's really bright orange. How does it smell like? We've never used it. Very, before. very spicy. <laughs> Good, I'm glad. Half a teaspoon of salt. We got this. Where did you get this Redmond Real Salt from, Erica? Low carb emporium. Half a teaspoon. And says half a teaspoon of black pepper, but I'm just going to crack in what we've got. People aren't happy with the vomiting chatter on oh, sorry. the cooking sorry, show. Sorry, everyone. Have you been to an 18th birthday recently? <laughs> You'll understand. <laughs> uh, Tanya, it wasn't doof doof. It was all like no, rap and yeah, hip-hop. Like, rap. Yeah, like a american hip-hop kind of the beat on all of them was the same <laughs> and i couldn't tell that the words were different <laughs> at all and that's having chicken drumsticks and coleslaw yum hey suzanne how are you going 
Ah, oh, Justin made the smoky romesco sauce today. How yummy is that? Actually, you should make that on one of your um, one of your cooking shows, Dan. Okay, so I'm going to put this on the stove. It's going to be way um, like different colour than what the picture of the curry zucchini. It's just a different curry now. normally is. So the instructions are: bring to a simmer on medium heat, and then add the zucchini and cover and cook for ten minutes. So we'll get that going, and then we'll start the tenders. Ooh, that curry powder smells good. So for anyone doing the clean and simple reset, if you have an Asian grocery store near you, this would be a good curry powder to get because um, we found some of those ones at the supermarket like Keens and whatnot have, some of them have rice flour and stuff in them, which if you have that, it's fine. But this... It smells really delicious. And look at the size of the bag. It will last us forever. Um, but, yes, we got that at New Lampton at the Asian grocery store. Okay. So I'll wait for that to kind of come up to a simmer and we'll start on the tenders. So we just bought tenders, but you can, like, grab some chicken breasts and slice them up, whatever works for you. Okay, so as instructed, hopefully if you're cooking along, no one is, but have your crumb ready to go. Um, place the sesame crumbs on a shallow bowl and place a tender in the crumbs. Press down to coat one side and then flip over and coat it. So we don't use a wash, an egg wash or anything in this. Um, would you do more than that? Let's see how you go. Yeah, we don't use an egg wash. We just use the kind of wetness of the chicken to coat them. And it's quite, I don't know, can you see? It's quite a light crumb. It's not like a, a full kind of heavy chicken schnitzel crumb. Would you agree with that, Erica? Yeah, it's just a light crumb, but it gives it a... a, a Texture, nice like texture. it has a little coating on it, but it's not like a chicken snitty where you can like peel it off or something. No, it's completely <laughs> different. And we yeah. actually just filmed a video where we tested all the diff eight different kind of crumbs to go on chicken. So we did like almond flour, pork rinds, these ones. We bought some of those Protein Bread Co, low-carb crumbs. We did coconut flour. And then we did all combinations like almond flour and parmesan, et cetera. So it was a journey <laughs> was to a film journey. that. Um, <laughs> but keep an eye out. I think it will be a fun video to watch. We we made them all and then we tasted them all and crowned a winner. We did. There was no bias involved either. No. We tried not to. <laughs> okay. Got any questions coming at us? Um, sorry. Uh Tan said teenage crap music. Yep, sounds all the same. Yeah. We, we I'm like, sure to our parents our teenage yeah. crap music sounded the same to them as well. <laughs> but just it just made us feel so old. Uh, Mon asked why you aren't wearing your have but a travel am. hoodie. Oh, the hoodie? No, no hoodie. It's a bit too hot. This is a lighter jumper. Um, oh, I think I've nailed the amount of crumb. Just saying. <laughs> just, just quietly. Uh, hey, Bella, glad you finally caught us. And she said you can definitely beat the kitchen today, Dan. I, I have a good feeling. I feel good today. I feel positive about Even it. Even though I'm not in a familiar kitchen. <laughs> hey, Jules. I have never made either of these things before. How you going, Jules? But that's not unusual. I'll just wash my hands. Hey, Joe. how you going? 
Roman's having baked chicken. Laney, you've made it just in time. Is there no tea towel in this kitchen? <laughs> Yes, Justin, I would agree. That smoky romesco sauce, it's amazing the sweetness um, from the capsicum. Okay. We're going to add the zucchini to this. It's really. Yeah. Mitch said he believes in you, Dan. Bubbling away now. So I'm going to add the zucchini. I'm just gonna show you. Yeah, I'll just stir it in first. Get the zucchini all coated. A lot of liquid gets released from the zucchini in the cooking. So <laughs> some zucchini just is going on. <laughs> I think that's one for the kitchen. <laughs> but it's all just kind of coated. There's not a great deal of liquid in there at the moment. So the instructions are to cover it and cook for about 10 minutes or until the zucchini is cooked, stirring occasionally. So I'll pop this back on with a lid on and I'll pick up what I drop. Yep, Annette loves the romesco sauce too. I know you've made that one before. Julie wants to know where you have butterball travel apron is. Well, that's at home. <laughs> Maybe you need to take your jumper off. <laughs> oh, goodness. There's a candy on the floor. <laughs> Let me just get up that the floor. Oh no! It's all right. We'll, like, we'll fix it. Up I'm gonna later. like skin out on it. We need to get some toilet paper. Something to wipe that up. <laughs> okay, I am going. I've just turned the pan for the chicken on as well, and I'm just gonna add the instructions say coconut oil, but just whatever oil you like to cook in. Um, I'm gonna use avocado oil. Because it's what we brought with us. I was probably supposed to measure that out, but anyway. So I'll let that pan get hot. Thank you, Erica, for cleaning that up. Um, is lemon juice good in water? Trying to get away from diet drinks. It's, it's perfectly fine to do any form of kind of um, like lemon juice, mm -hmm. lime juice. Um, mm -hmm. The other thing I did a lot of, Justin, when we were trying to get away from like um, diet, like Pepsi Max is our weakness, um, is I would brew some kind of teas. Mm -hmm. um, what the, the brand is Red mm -hmm. Seal. Now, yeah. some of them are sweetened and some of them are not sweetened. So you just mm -hmm. need to check the ones that don't have stevia in them. And I would put four or five in a litre of water, let that brew overnight, and that was something with a bit of flavour to kind of draw your attention away. You those mineral waters you could show as well. So, Justin, we've also been having these, and these have no sweetener, no preservatives, um, and this one is lime, lemon, lime, and cucumber, and it's really refreshing. The cucumber, I was, is that going to be a bit weird? But it's really nice. And we've also, we haven't, have you tried it yet? No, I haven't. We haven't tried these ones yet. They come in a box where the Coke and all that is. The... <coughs> The fruit, like splash, Let's try this one. the fruit splash we bought at Harris Farm um, and that other one we bought at the supermarket. Oh, Eat More Vegans is here. Al from Eat More Vegans is in the US. He has his own barbecue channel that I follow because, as you know, I really like barbecue and it's the middle of the night literally. So I'm impressed, Al. <clears throat> also, he's keto, so... If anyone is into barbecue and also low carb, he does show how to do like rubs and sauces and things and he quite often uses like the Lakanto monk fruit sweetener instead of sugar, which is handy because most of the barbecue 
rubs and sauces always tend to include like brown sugar and stuff like that if you look at conventional ones so i just gave those. the zucchini a bit of a stir i'm not sure if i've got this hot enough yet because i don't know the oh maybe a little bit longer i'll just wait for that to come up to be a bit hotter um julie said i'll use lukaku collagen in my coffee would this be okay during the may reset I would say the if it's done, sweetened, yeah. no. So the thing with the reset is, one, we're going for no dairy, but we're also going for no sweetener, trying to pull ourselves away from having sweetener all the time. So um, if it's sweetened, no. Mm. Mm, I thought it was nice. That's nice. We hadn't tried that one before. We hadn't tried the passion fruit flavour before. That was the first time we'd seen it. I think it's nice. Okay. I might go three. And I've got that on seven because I didn't want to go too hard too early. Yeah. Let's have a look. I'm trying to do this as steadily as I can. So the instructions for the cooking was to put it on medium high, so I nailed that. I didn't even check. Um, <laughs> once, <laughs> once coconut oil is melted, add the tenders and cook until the crumb is brown. Flip tenders and cook until the chicken's cooked through and the crumb is golden. Depending on your size of your pan, you might need to cook in batches, which we definitely will, um, because you don't want the crumb to burn. Don't put the heat too hot, which I didn't. Um once cooked, remove the tenders and serve with your favourite keto side dish, curried zucchini. <laughs> oh, did you set your alarm or something, Al? Al just woke up to say hi. Hi, Al. Um, Susan said, going well, Dan. I didn't catch the beginning. Did you process the sesame seeds? Yes. So um, I didn't because I did it yesterday in the Thermomix, but you can do it in a bullet blender or um in our stick blender has a that's what we used to do the, the little bowl on the bottom yeah. of the stick blender and it's literally sesame seeds salt and garlic platter and just blitz until it is a crumb that's it and it smells a lot like tahini because it's just sesame seeds and we just did a big batch of it and then we can just keep it in the cupboard that way you don't have to do it every time you want to make them it's just easier i mean you could actually you could probably keep it in the fridge once you've um, bleached it because probably better to keep it in the fridge. But. Also just stirred the zucchini. There's a lot more liquid coming out of that. Now, good night, Al. Happy for you to go, go to bed. I won't be offended. Um, Yes, yeah, so while the chicken's cooking, we might talk a little bit about the clean and simple reset. It is on sale now, ready to go. It's $39 and you get a cookbook, so 60 recipes. You also get a whole bunch of resources and everything you need to get started on the clean and simple reset. The idea of it is it's clean ingredients, so like whole foods, low carb, the focus is on not having replacement foods like you know like fat head dough um keto bagels keto bread all yeah, of that it. so stepping away from those replacement foods and just really focusing on protein with every meal veg no snacking no dairy no sweeteners but it's a great 28 day way to just reset your thinking Mm -hmm. and kind of make this your kind of starting point and kind of pepper those other things in rather than those being the every norm. day, three meals a day. Because I know when I'm eating dairy, I literally will put it in all of the meals I eat. Mm -hmm. um, and this reset really just helps draw the attention back on just eating protein with some veg. And it doesn't have to be boring, grilled mm -hmm. chicken breast with broccoli. This is clean and simple reset food. What we're cooking today. So let me check. 
Oh, oh, no, they're... <laughs> I'll probably do four in the next one, but I'll just see. I don't know whether I can see it tilt that mm -hmm. down a bit. I'm really happy with the colour on that. If I wasn't talking to you, 100% I would have flipped them too early. <laughs> so you're a good distraction. Yeah, you are a good distraction. <laughs> Um, Heidi said, I've just bought the Franklin sparkling flavoured water and found it quite refreshing. Yeah, so there was a bunch of different flavours, wasn't there? Mm -hmm. I think there's maybe three. And they were on special they were. That's what at we're Woolies doing. this week. That's why we bought them. So, yeah, that's nice. It's not sweet. It just has a hint of flavour. Yeah, but the passion fruit is not. It's a nice, a nice flavour. Um, Mon said, actually, we should go on my kitchen rules. No way. <laughs> I couldn't handle the stress no. of live last week. I flipped out. <laughs> I couldn't handle like, being on an actual TV show. <laughs> Definitely not. Oh, my God. Um, Justin said, dairy is so easy to go overboard. It really mm. is. And the other thing is it's kind of people think it's a free-for-all because it's mm. kind of keto approved. And it really is easy to over over eat them. Do you wanna answer that Tom question? Tom said, Did you try the citrus element drinks I gave you? I think you have them. I've got it here. Yeah. I think we bought them with us, Tom, because um, it was easier to have the sachets. That's bubbling a lot, the zucchini, so I've just um, turned it down a bit. And I'm going to get a plate for the chicken. I'll probably put it down four. Are you just checking up on me? No, no. I don't want to die. <laughs> Erica thinks I'm going to feed her raw chicken. <laughs> Seen that before. <laughs> <laughs> no they look, faith. They look so good. This is where it gets a little bit more tricky because the pan has dirty crumb in it. That's all but right. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Nailed it. And it's cooked, believe me. Bella said, I've already eaten dinner, but now I want to eat those chicken tenders and zucchini. Haha. <laughs> ha. Well, that's dinner decided for tomorrow night. It's really easy. And like a lot of these ingredients you probably have in the mm. kitchen, maybe except for the bone broth powder, but you might have some form of stock powder or something mm -hmm. in the kitchen already. Um, so you might just need zucchini and chicken if you don't yeah, have it. Oh, the what time was about. I don't I didn't bring the lemon one. I've got the orange one. We didn't bring the citrus one. This morning I had the raspberry and pretty good. Definitely a lot more salt in those salts than normal electrolytes. Yeah, so this is an electrolyte that you can buy from Tarns or you can buy it from Element directly and they ship it, but it comes from the US so it takes a while. But if anyone knows Rob Wolf from Paleo Land, um, this is his brand. But, yeah, we actually did a video on the weekend going through all different electrolytes. And it is amazing the variance in what is in them all as far as, like, sodium, potassium and magnesium. That is delicious. The zucchini is cooked. I've just turned it right down because um, I don't want um, it to go all mushy. Oh, I am killing it tonight. I'm, I'm so you impressed. You're having a much better night tonight, then. I'm also having fun tonight. I was too. I got like too stressed last time. That was a bad high five. That was a bad high five. 
<laughs> um, Tan Tanya said that the raspberry is my fave. Yeah, it's got a hundred milligrams, so one yeah. whole gram of sodium. So it's a hundred, a thousand milligrams of sodium, two hundred milligrams of potassium, and sixty milligrams of magnesium. Julie said, Erica, you're doing well too. I'm a feeder, so I know how hard it is to stand back and give control <laughs> thank you, thank to you. someone else. Has she? I'm has like, she really I'm given like, control? Doesn't feel like it. I'm watching the chicken, like, yeah, just talking away. <laughs> Oh, hilarious. That's good. And the bonus is going to be yeah, we're going to have chicken leftovers. and yeah. probably zucchini, or maybe not the zucchini, um, left over for lunch tomorrow. So that is a bonus. Brownies too. Oh, we also made brownie on the weekend from our brownie recipe. And I had a piece when I got home from work this afternoon because we were eating late. And I'll get one. Oh, now it's, I'm going to make a meal of this. This has hazel, whole hazelnuts in it, or chopped up hazelnuts in it. And it is kind of like a Nutella brownie, and it is really delicious. So I just turned the crowd, the stencils down a little bit because it's um, the pan gets too hot and then the outside burns. So you just got to be a little bit careful because you're not using flour; it doesn't work like flour. So you just got to, especially the second and third batch, a little bit trickier to get as nice as the first batch. Um, Mom said we're making her hungry. Tanya said, dinner looks amazing so far. I'm going to try that crumb but add chilli. I'm with you, Mon, making me hungry too. Have you guys tried the new seriously low-carb range from Woolworths? No. We haven't even bought it, I don't think, yet, no. have we? We were a little unsure about some of the ingredients, and I need to investigate um, because, like, the first ingredient was the sweet potato starch or sweet potato flour or something, wasn't it? And I just, I don't know anything about that to see, and I don't understand how the carbs are so low. Um, if anyone knows more about it, I would love to hear. Yeah, maybe. I just wasn't sure. It seemed too good to be true, didn't it? Um, and then also it was kind of like the serving size was like 20 grand. Yeah. 20 grams or whatever and it was kind of like how does that work with flour like if you're making a cake or something it, like and then if you looked at the 100 gram amount it was actually a bit high in carb I don't know that it was seriously low carb for a start I think it was like kind Moderately. of I think it was Mon that or someone messaged on Instagram it was more like like kind of low carb a little bit low carb I mean it's probably a better option than plain like regular flour but I don't really know enough about it to say whether it's good or not and I guess it's probably one of those things where you need to try it for yourself we have a bee in here which is interesting <laughs> just alerting everyone so I just cleaned the pan because oh god it's like attracted to the light Okay, it's on the light right now. Now you can see the second batch can't really has gone a bit darker. So I cleaned the pan for I've just got two more to go. So I cleaned the pan um, to get the next batch a little bit cleaner, um, a little bit nicer. Um, Julie said, not a fan of the seriously low carb, it tastes very processed. Um, Bron said that was my thoughts about that range too, Erica. Tanya said, I've tried it. It's nothing special, kind of coconutty. I wouldn't use it often, to be honest. I'm keeping my eye on that bee. 
one hundred percent processed tasting Julie. So there you right, go. Okay. There's what other there's, people's there's opinion. But I've seen people who've tried the cake mixes and absolutely loved them. So who knows? I now, should, I should message. Do we have any more plates, or have I literally? No, we, we do. can't plate it. We do. I plate it. What do you want, Master Chef? Wait, Dan's got to plate it up. Well, do you want to not eat it on a plate? <laughs> I prefer a plate. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> How good has this been tonight? I'm so happy. Recovered oh, from last know. week. Except for the D, it's going. <laughs> and I hope people have enjoyed the non-thermomix recipe yeah. this week. Um, we've not at all made a decision about what we're going to make next week, but we will always let you know, are you interested in cooking along or not? You're just happy to watch me do the whole thing and um, oh, now it's on the computer. <laughs> I mean, I'm surprised we haven't lost this bee because it was here last night. We saw it last night. So we've had the door open all day and it hasn't gone anywhere. Um Chris said that she likes the crumbs a little darker. So oh, I've got a bit of both right here, a bit of both. So I've just got those last two chickens to cook. The zucchini is definitely ready. I just took it off the heat, um, just let it sit for a bit. I lost my tongs. Yeah. Went a bit too early on that turn. Oh, that B. Oh, it's on the computer again. You can probably see. You can see it in the camera. It's going. <laughs> it's attracted to the yeah, light. Yeah, it's attracted. I was going to say to your cooking Dan. Well, there's nothing sweet here for you, Mr. B. Um, Bronwyn said it would be good to keep doing the reset. That's the plan, Bronwyn. Um, we will keep the recipes reset while because we're doing it as well and we've got to eat this. So what we're cooking, it will definitely be reset approved. Um, Bella said I made your cabbage rolls but not in the thermomix. They, they were delish. Yeah, like we said when we did it last week, 100% you could do it without the thermomix. A lot of it was just steaming mixing the mints together with all of the other ingredients and then steaming again. So, yeah, you could definitely um, do that without a thermomix for sure. All right, we're nearly there. Has anyone got any other questions or anything for us before I plate this and... Um, oh, Erica just asked, when do we sign up for the reset? You yeah, can yeah. sign up for the reset right now. I'm not sure if she put a link in the description. Yes, there's a link in the description for the video. You can also find it if you just go to havebutterwilltravel.com. Right up the top, there's a banner. If you click on that, it will take you through to the um, reset page where you can buy it. It's $39.00. A lot of the people here already are in, so come and join us. It's a fun group. It's fun to have other people doing it with you. You really feel like you're doing it as part of a crew, so it's really fun to join the group for sure. And we start on Saturday. Yeah, and we start on Saturday. So I'm just making sure I'm not going to kill Erica here. Now I don't know where the bit is. This is more concerning. It went that way. It went that, yeah. <laughs> All right. Are you going to taste this on yeah. camera? Look. All right. It's definitely smoky as in here right now. It really is. There was probably. A fan that I should have put on? It's probably too noisy. The bee's back. Oh, good. Okay, so can you tilt that down a bit? Hmm. 
So you can see how much kind of liquid came out of there. It's definitely a different colour than what we're used to because it's a different curry paste than what we normally use. It's probably it's gone a bit mushy. Um, that was probably I've overcooked it. I'll just put some of this on the plate. Yeah, it's definitely more watery than what it normally would be. But it's still going to be delicious. I, I tasted it, would you believe? That's enough. Okay. Do you like the light ones or the dark ones? You want the it to be cooked. Ones. Oh, a light one that's cooked. Two? Are yeah. you going with two? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you not going with the light ones? <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll probably go with three. <laughs> do you need a knife and fork to oh! taste this, Erica? Yes, I do. Thank you. Did you show the finished? Oh, yes. You need to take a photo. Well, we take a photo. We'll take a photo. <laughs> There we go. The sauce is a little bit runnier than normal. Yeah, I don't know why it's like that. It's normal. Not sure quite what happened thick. there. Um, Tanya said, thinking I'll do the reset. Won't be 100%. I'm at the races on Saturday, 1st of May, so we'll not be resetting anything. Julie said, can we get the shopping list when we sign up so can be ready to cook on the day? So with the asking for, is it good? I like that different curry powder. It gives it a really nice flavour. <laughs> okay, so with the um, reset, Julie, your question, it's not a meal plan. So we are not telling you to eat chicken tenders for lunch tomorrow and X, Y, Z for dinner the, that day. We give you a bunch of recipes. We give you a blank meal plan and you map it out. And the reason behind that is we want you to learn how to plan your meals there's no macros, there's no tracking, just eat what's on the food list. So Yeah, we also give meal suggestions and guidelines of like how to build a meal. Yeah, but and yeah. oh, we didn't show the my bloody big brought these with us. There's but a yes, bunch. As soon as you sign up, you'll get everything and then like we're even doing a live on Wednesday before it starts to talk about getting prepared. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yes, as soon as you sign up, even though it doesn't mm -hmm. start till the 1st of May, you get everything you need. Um, so we made our seasonings ready to go and we brought them so we could show you. So we've got Sesame Magic and the Mediterranean seasoning. I even bought new jars to put them in this time. We've got Tex-Mex and Simple and Middle Eastern. And the, everyone or a lot of people doing it, love the spice mixes they make up these all at the start mm -hmm. and you literally can just coat your protein in these and serve it with a side of veg mm -hmm. doesn't have to be complicated so it's as complicated as you want it to be and yeah. i guess not having a meal not everyone likes everything so you know there's people who don't like lamb like me or people who don't like seafood so being able to build your own meal plan for it to be the b is is the best right. option. And then you know how to do it forever. You don't have to rely on. But, Dan, you've nailed it. I really like the new curry powder. And I'm really happy with this. Chicken is cooked, but it's not overcooked and it's not raw. Well, not raw chicken. That's a win. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, sometimes when you're trying to make chicken not raw and then you cook it to oblivion and yeah. it's, like, so stringy. That's what your dad used to do. Yes, my dad. <laughs> because because Erica's mum would always send it back <laughs> even when it was, like, fully cooked. All right. So thank you, everyone, for coming along. It's so much fun when you talk to me while I'm cooking. I'm loving this. You've done such I've a good I've turned back there. around after last week. We're going to have to have a vote in the reset group for what you're cooking next week. I yes. Think. So we will put that up in the group. If you're not in the Clean and Simple Reset $39, come and join us. It's 28 days. You'll feel great after it and you get to hang out with us all the time. All right. Thanks, everyone. We will see you next week. Bye. Bye.